Hello, I'm going to I make tortilla mine. chips. I don't mind. Yes, I'm going to make tortilla chips and I want to show you how I do that. We are going to eat it with a, some ground meat like nacho type without the cheese. And I'm just looking at, looking for Yes, and as you can see, we have the oil going on here. Peanut oil is in the pot already. I'm going to spice it up with some chili paper. And we have corn tortilla. I think it's a little bit dark in here. Yes, go ahead and get it. So we have corn tortilla and I'm just going to cut it in pieces. And I'm just going to make few to show you how I make it. So I'll get few and I'll just cut it in triangle. And this chopper was well you can just cut it in four if you want and sometimes I like to cut it in eight go well, eat your cake and we are going to test our oil to see if it's hard enough so I'm just going to put one in it and our oil is hot. I'm just going to drop them in there one by one. That's something that takes time to do. It's, it doesn't, it's not hard to do, but... I gave you a spoon. I just gave it. I just put it there for you. Go eat. Watch it. Watch it? Yeah. There is another one. And I'll just put it in it. It doesn't take long to fry, but it's going to take a while to get everything done. And I have ground beef that are brown. I'm, I have cookies that sauce that I made. I'm going to mix them all together and it will be good. I'm going to put this here and that's something I had to work quickly or uh, I will be burning them so I'm getting my big balls And I'm going to get a shredder here that will help. If I can find it in the dark. And that's a good shredder. I will put the link in the description. I think I purchased it from Amazon a while ago. I don't use it often. And I'll just let it fry. I think the oil is on high. I can put it now close to medium. And I'll just let it fry. At this point, I can start working on the mix. Believe I have. And 
that's the meat here. I believe I have my tomato here. And I made this banana with a pudding last night and I'll fry you can see that it's not bubbling anymore so it's ready to be out and when it's out I'll add salt to it so what I like to do is I'm going to get my little one cup glass balls here and just put a chunk of salt in it because I'll be using my hand and once it, it stops bubbling around we know that there is not much moisture in it and you can hear how crispy it is now just quickly get them out of the oil And for this, you can make it, you know, my children, I don't buy chips. If we will eat cheese, I will just make it and the beans, I will just get ground beef, brown it up on the stove and either add a little flour, a little oil, some onion. I'll first, the way I will do it, I will... I will add a little bit of flour just as it's done browning and cook a little bit for a minute and then I'll add some onion to it and cook it for a few more minutes and it's done and it can be eaten with that and some other times I'll add tomato sauce to it as well and this time we have leftover meat and that's what we are going to use. So I have this leftover meat here. That's ground beef, sausage, onion, and a little flour. And I have the tomato here that I'm going to add a little bit to mix it all up on the stove. And as you can see, as soon as it's out of the oil, you can see how it is. we are going to salt it. And then I have my paper here. I have my paper here, and then I will sprinkle it. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to make one more bag to show you. And by the time we are done, we'll have a lot of it here. Because the bag is 80, 80 medium. Less than I don't know how much it costs, but I think it's less than three dollars. But it's going to make a lot of chips to fill up those bowls here. And while this is boiling, I can come more that way I can get the knife out of the way I have young kids in the house and I don't like to have knives around so we are going to come on uh, that is really much to help you can help if you are not too tired Are you thinking about taking some to work as well? Yeah. Probably. Probably. Okay. And we just put them here. And I believe uh, what we are frying is done. Sorry about that. It fries very quickly, but that's something you cannot just put in the oil and leave for a while because it's going to take about two minutes, three minutes to get done. So it's going to take a while but to fry everything, but it fries very quickly. Just make sure they are crispy because it will be out for some days. 
and people will just snack on it. And make sure you drop them one by one in the oil so that they don't stick together. They will fry faster. And that's how you can make chips, your own chips. You know what you are using. You know, the oil is just peanut oil. So whatever oil works for you, but at least you know how you make your own chips. And when you are ready to eat, you make it, it's very hard, it's hard, it's very tasty as well. And we are just going to drop them in the oil quickly to keep the oil big so it doesn't burn. And we are going to store this as well. When it's out of the oil, it has oil on it, that's the right time to just put our seasoning to it. And if you don't like spicy, then don't put in as much of chili pepper on it. Or you can make some on the side without chili pepper for people in your house that don't like spice. And I'll just continue filling my pot here. And I'll just work on it until I'm done. And that will be our lunch. My kids love love it and my husband lost it as well thank you for watching i'm apiavio june marine nes libreman owner of nina soap